Samsung PS42C91HX XEU uh, version BK01. Uh, customer complains that it tripped the mains fuse on his socket in the house. Now the unit is dead. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take apart the, the set. Uh, I won't show you the uh, um, procedure for taking off the back. Uh, uh, it's only a few screws. Okay. I have to back off now uh, and just from a, a visual inspection I can see a problem. Uh, but I haven't plugged the unit in yet as the customer said it uh, tripped his uh, household fuse. Uh, and uh, what I can see is uh, there's an IC here on the heatsink and if you can see that, zoom in it's going apart. Uh, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take uh, the power supply out and uh, see what I can do. Okay, I'm just going to take out this power supply now. I'm going to remove, start by removing the connectors. Just little clips on these, you just push them in and they pull up. Here. Now, don't forget there is high voltages involved here, dangerous voltages. And if you don't uh, understand uh, uh, have an experience in working in power supplies, you shouldn't really attempt this uh, repair. Also, uh, these two capacitors here can store a charge about 300 or so volts. And, uh, can give you a nasty whack if you put your hand on them, even when it's plugged out. Yeah. So if in doubt, give it to someone that's uh, experienced. Okay, I'm just going to start taking out the screws. Power supply uh, type uh, PN44 00161A. Okay, I'm just going to still hold them. Okay, let's take power supply out. Okay, I see a couple of fuses here, and um, more than likely, if uh, that I see blue like that, it could have took out one of the fuses. This is your main input fuse, that's okay. There's another fuse, you see. You see, this fuse here is open circuit, so that would have to be replaced alongside the, uh, the, uh, the uh, I see. Now there is a kit available for this as far as I know. I'm going to just check up on the information. Okay, I should point out uh, the most probable reason for that uh, transistor to blow is probably because of uh, dry joints. If you can see um, on this component there is uh, the solder is come apart. Yeah, and of course internally, this would have blown this, and also you see these components at the back; these are gone as well. I can see that, that particularly that one, that uh, looks very damaged. And uh, so the kit, uh, I hope it includes all these parts. Uh, I can see gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the air kits available for this power supply uh, at BN44 0161A. And uh, the first kit is just if these two transistors are blown, it gives you a list of components that are to be replaced um, in the area 
here. Um, and the ones I can see damaged are covered in the kit. I see it, they are available in the kit. So that is one kit I'm going to go to replace. But then this also say you have to check these two upright boards. For shorts on the, uh, the surface mount transistors. I have found shorts on these transistors as well. Just one of them. So I'm going to order that kit as well. Um, the kits are generally available um, on, um, on the internet uh, to repair this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to order the parts and then I will get back to you with part two of the repair process uh, uh, fitting the kit. Thank you.